So in doing this problem here, if I'm going to do a part, I can say that dy dx is equal to 1 half 4 minus x squared to the power of negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside is minus 2x. X. And so I, so get, I get, so I see that these twos cancel. And after I rewrite this, I get negative x over the square root of 4 minus x squared. There's dy dx. So there's a part. Now b part says verify that this is a satisfies this differential equation. Well, I know that if I take this and plug it in for y, then dy dx is equal to minus x over square root of 4 minus x squared. And so, and that is the derivative. And so the derivative of this creates the differential equation in terms of x and y, but y is that function, and so it satisfies the differential equation. And then finally, for the last part, we solve this particular differential equation. We're going to do it the general case, the general solution. So to do so, I'm going to multiply both sides by y and by y, and also by dx. And then I'm going to integrate both sides, separating the variables. And so this is going to be y squared to the 1 half is equal to negative x squared 1 half plus c. Multiplying by 2, I get y squared is equal to negative x squared plus, well, 2c, which is still some constant c. And then I can square root it. I get plus or minus the square root of minus x squared plus c. And so this is my general solution to the differential equation, anything that works like that.